Have you ever wanted to remove yourself from your 360 photos? Often it can be great being there in the photo, capturing the environment with you in it, but we don't always want that. Sometimes we want to record just the environment around us and not have us cluttering the frame. Yes, we can uh, go and hide behind a tree or hide behind a park bench or whatever, but sometimes there isn't anywhere to hide. Like here, for example, I'm in my local park here in Rosebury in Sydney, Australia. There's nowhere I can hide here. So fortunately, an app has just come out called Vanish 360, which will solve this problem. So at the moment, this app is compatible with the Ricoh Theta S camera. I'm sure in the future, it might expand out to other cameras at the moment, it's just for the Ricoh. So let's have a little look at the workflow. So step one is you'll need to be using a tripod. I like using this little Manfrotto tripod. Uh, it's a great all round tripod, keeps the camera nice and low to the ground, which is often good. So put your camera on a tripod and let's put it down the ground. I like this position here. Camera Wi-Fi is on, and you want to connect that to your iPhone. So let's uh, exit Pokemon Go and get serious. All right, so as you can see, I've connected to my, my Theta S right there. So I'm now going to go into my Vanish 360 app. So because I've already connected to the camera, uh, this app will instantly recognize that we are connected all right, so now we can set our exposure. For some reason, it automatically overexposes your images, so you'll just have to adjust the ISO and shutter speed there, uh, just so you have a picture that isn't too bright. And there we go. Our preview up there is showing us that that is looking really good. Um, you want to switch to 5K. There's 2K and 5K uh, resolution, uh, just so you're using the full data within the, the Theta camera, like. Um, there's no point shooting lower res, you may as well get as much detail as possible. So we'll go ahead now and hit that main button. So that this is going to initiate out the first of our three photos that it will then stitch together. Okay, so there we go. Uh, it's taking number one as we speak. And now we have to move over to a second position, which is way away from the first one, just so we can see that the movement between the two photos shouldn't be there. Um, if you're too close, you might, it might think that you're a tree or something and you haven't moved, so it's important that you do move uh, somewhere further away from the camera in your second posi position. So as you can see, it's taking the second one now. So now we'll go ahead to our third position. And it's taking the third one. Now the app will automatically work out what has moved and get rid of all of the movement. So because we've moved, as you can see there, to three completely different spots within our environment, it will then replace um, those spots that we were covering with the two consistent spots from the other two photos. So it's compositing the images now and it will automatically process a Ben free 360 photo. Okay, so there's the preview of the 360 photo that has now stitched me out of all three photos. So let's go into view mode, and now we can view that in virtual reality. So as I look around here, uh, you can't see me at all. It's cut me completely out, which is awesome, which means it's done a good job. So now, we'll just go to save image there, and save that to our camera roll, which we can then edit in an editing program. So now you're free to do whatever you like with this image. You might want to turn it into a tiny planet, or you might want to just up upload it to Facebook and show your friends that this is the location I'm at. Honestly, I prefer having myself in the photos, but sometimes if you're doing maybe professional work, um, nobody wants to buy an image with you in it. Like they need a clear landscape photo of your environment. So I think this app will be a really handy tool for photographers shooting 360 landscapes. I'm sure in the future, they're going to make it much better, more features, better stitching. Uh, it's really good so far. It's only been out a week, uh, so I'm excited. All right guys, this is Ben from Life in 360. Hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe to us on YouTube. We are also on Facebook. We're on Twitter as well, and I'm on Instagram, instagram.com slash Ben Claremont. Right guys, keep living your life in 360. I'll talk to you soon.